I'm your dude 4786 I have autism here today in this video in this food review I'm gonna be reviewing Ben and Jerry's let me just clear that icing off this is this is a cookie dough and it's labeled tonight dough it's uh, also got uh, Jimmy Fallon on there sponsoring Jimmy Fallon the uh, famous TV show host I watch this channel from time to time but I've also been watching some uh, James Gordon as well uh, yeah it has uh, the logo fair trade on there it must be a foundation but yeah, uh, Ben and Jerry's cookie dough is what I'm going to be reviewing today. I love Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And look, over at the top, this is all the ice cream. This is what it looks like. Go take my spoon and dig in. This is chocolate chip cookie dough, I think. Caramel chocolate ice cream with chocolate cookie swirl and gobs of chocolate chip and dough and peanut butter cookie dough. Let's see, look at all that goodness. Mm. It's getting kind of melted. It's st starting to melt a little bit. It's been sitting here a while. It's been really frozen, so I've been giving it time to kind of defrost a little bit. But me saying that would be kind of a lie. Um, well, technically, I've been having trouble getting my computer started up with running Bandai Cam and all. But the real reason why it looks this way a little bit uh, mushy at the top is because I have been letting it sit, but Ben and Jerry's ice cream doesn't need to be defrosted. Usually it's already soft to begin with, and that's what makes it unique. It also, it's like kind of like eating Turkey Hill ice cream. If you ever all had Turkey Hill, then you know what I'm talking about. The soft, softness of it. You don't like, unlike most ice creams I've eaten, Turkey Hill or Ben & Jerry has it to where it's, you don't have to like thaw it out, wait for it to defrost. You don't have to do all that fancy shit like wrap it up in plastic to keep from, to keep frostbite from forming. Even though you put a lid on it, doesn't make that much of a difference. Doesn't do bat shit to put a lid on it because the ice creams most of the time will still get frostbite. This the one I'm eating doesn't. This COVID situation is really bad for for teachers who are just going back to school teaching. They're already stressed out. So to, to add more to that stress, they have to go to work too to make their money.
Mm. Yeah, it's such a it's such a frustrating situation we're in right now. A lot of people are ignoring the signs. I, I mean, I hate Republicans. Like, I literally don't like them. I hate Republicans, I do. Republicans are stupid. They're fucking dumb. Bunch of fucking idiots. And all the Republican states are getting in the red. You want to know why? Because they, they're stubborn. They're dumb. They're fucking idiots. Starting to cream over now. So, I'll tell you about Christians. Christians are really nice, good people. But a lot of them that I've ran into are just way too narrow-minded. They just need to chill. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with having faith in God at all. But you're gonna push your your beliefs onto other people like that and call down and talk down on them. Then like come on, that to me that's just wrong.
You know, I like going out in the city. You know, I live out towards the country area of Elizabeth City. Well, technically, we're part of the city, but I still consider it the country because it doesn't feel like a city until you get into the city, that is. I mean, I'd rather live in the city than live in the country. It's a lot more interesting. The people there, they're just their mindset in the city. People are just more with the times and they're not so put they're not so narrow minded to the point to where they're pushing their it's not like they're judging you for being for like saying well this is all you do nowadays play games like I have a I have relatives who are out in the, who live out towards the country who are more like country folks they listen to country music and all that and their minds they and some of the some of my cousin's wife, uh, mother loves to. She loves what Trump does. They're very you know narrow-minded, <clears throat> and with people like that that are like that are just like they lack. They're not. They're not with the times. It is just taking the. They're always judging me about how I spend too much time with electronics and all that like saying boy you need to get you need to start uh, you know going out working outside and all that like if I were living in the city I wouldn't need to be cutting no goddamn grass for one and two I'm a grown up I'm a, I'm a fucking man I don't need nobody telling me what I should do, what I shouldn't do. What I do with my damn life is my motherfucking choice. So if I want to stay inside and play video games and all that shit and make that my thing and work with computers, then that's mine. <clears throat> and they got this fucking stupid ass dating site called FarmersOnly.com, which really just fucking irks me. Like, these city folks just don't understand. I don't, we, we city folks don't fucking give a shit about you country ass motherfuckers. I like my video games. I like sitting in my ass, going out to places, and talking to people, and chit chat, and going to gas stations, and walking around. All soothe, soothe, and jive, and all that. I, mean, I don't dig going out raking, cutting grass. I hate that. I hate going out in the summertime fucking cutting grass. I hate that shit. Because you know, I don't, I don't mind work and all, but when I get sweaty. I start to feel uncomfortable. I don't like feeling uncomfortable. You understand that? When I sweat, I feel uncomfortable. I feel icky, sticky, and I get a butthole. I get my butthole gets a rash. I get rash between my legs sometimes. Like I just my hair itches. I got bugs biting me, and I, I just don't like the feet that. It, that uncomfortable, dirty feeling I get when I cut grass, and that's why I don't like cutting grass. Call me lazy, call me what you will, but I don't like it. I don't fucking like the feel of it. I am a city boy. I, I'm, I am with the times. I am not going to be con converting myself to countryism. Thank you very much. So you can keep your yeehaw corn. Where you... And, Stick it where the sun don't shine. And stop trying to push me into this fucking lifestyle that you want me to live. I like wearing dark clothing. I like listening to death metal. 
The closest I'll ever get into listening to country music is Nickelback. Or, or what's his name? Will Walker Jr. Yeah. Other than that, I don't really listen to country. I listen to mostly rock, have hard rock and heavy metal and techno and all. I'm city. I'm a city. Uh, I'm an urban city. City life. I don't go do for that country life. Like, if you th honestly think that okay, I okay, if I were to go and work a full time job. Let's say I go one day I work a full time job. Right now I'm only a few hours shy of full time. I'm working like 36 something hours a week. That's four hours shy of full time. So if I decide to work full time one day, come home. Do you honestly think I wanna wanna go outside every fucking every fucking week to clean my goddamn gutters? I might do it once a month. But I ain't gonna do it every fucking week or every day. <clears throat> I'm not gonna sit around and clean my goddamn gut. I'm going to do all that, uh... Hot ass, sticky ass, uncomfortable yard work. I'm not going to be doing that all the fucking time. I'll do it every once in a while. Power wash the house. I'll probably do it once a month. Clean the gutters. Clean once a month. Cut the grass. Maybe twice a week at the most. I'll do it twice a week. I'm not going to do it like daily. I'm going to do it fucking weekly. You don't have to cut your grass daily. Like every single fucking day. You cut your grass like twice a week. Cut it on Sunday. And then cut it and then. Like you cut it on Sunday. If it grows back. Like before Friday. Like you don't have to good till Friday. Twice a week cut your grass. Pull your weeds once a week. Not every single fucking day. Pull your weeds once a week. Cut your grass twice a week. Clean your gutters once a month. As well as par wash your house on the outside. And you'll be set. Like I power wash my house once a month. I clean my gutters once a month. I cut my grass twice a week. I pull my weeds once a week because you don't like the weeds won't like you'll be good you'll be good if you do if you consistently do that your yard will look look fantastico you just gotta remember to do that See, that's why, like, in the future, I'm not... She's gonna sell this house to me. When the financial stuff becomes too much... I want to live out in the city, the apartment. I want to live where it's affordable. And I don't have to worry about yard work. I could just live in my little, nice little ass apartment for the rest of my days. And if I need to go to work, I just leave that apartment and come back home. I'm a living a uh, city. Because living in the city, you have everything near you. You have the stores, the shops, and you have a bunch of people walking, so you get to meet different people. Living in the city is awesome.
I'd rather live in the city than live in the country. Even though living in the city, can, the cost of living in a house on a building can go up. But the, so does your minimum wage pay. So. Besides, if if in the future I might move in with some relatives, I might uh, go move in with um, what's her name? What's his name? That's why I'm gonna try to go for a higher paying job. Yeah, that's my plans for the future. Just to try to get a promotion. I'm gonna. I mean, I, this is the time where I'm gonna need to stop getting comfortable in my position and start learning to step up. And um, I'm gonna try to go for shift manager or something. I have to see. I have to do my online training and all. And then I'll uh, become. Then I'll take on. Um, then I'll take on being a shift manager. But I have to gain, I have to gain like, I don't want to have to do it by gaining like favoritism over other managers. Like, I don't, not these managers at least. I'm going to try to um, get positioned. As, so, if I'm going to try to go to Wal work at Walmart and then work my way up to manager over at Walmart. So I'm doing a lot of these videos and not so many let's plays just because I'm trying to save money up so that um, I can one way I can one day eventually almost retire, which is possible. It's possible, but not possible with minimum wage pay. I'm getting paid more than minimum wage, so. Money, money I'm earning is getting me somewhere. So, yeah. Alright, well, that's going to do it for this video. Peace out and have a wonderful day.